Welcome to World Breaker Cool's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Koo, and today I am reviewing the Ultimates uh, Mumra. You have to excuse the background. I got some kids playing some Mario Kart in the background. I really wanted to get this review up. But there we go. Uh, we've got Mumra from Super 7's Ultimates. Okay. You gotta change this review to Dash Reviews. But um, I I really do like this figure. I know I said I was done with Ultimates, and here we are with a third one. And I'll probably get another one. Uh, I'm gonna get Cheeto, Cheetah. As well as probably Monkeyan. Um, I, it's a problem. It's a sickness. But this one is far different from the last two that I've had. Because I actually really like this one. Um, this one's really all good. And here's why. Um, for one, the size. Let's, let's bring the other ones in real quick so you can see the size difference. So you can see he's bigger than both Tigra and Lionel. Um, and it's, he's substantially larger. Um, he feels... Good in hand. Um, not a lot of paint defects. There's one on his back, but I'm going to be having the cape for most of the video anyway up. Or most of the, the display on him anyway. So it doesn't really matter. His teeth and head look really good. Look at that paint. Great job. I mean, his helmet looks a little ratty, but that works. The symbol's pretty clean on the chest. Um, nice pliable material here for the little skirt thing here. Uh, his knee joints are working fine. Not super articulated. I'm again, this is Super 7 Ultimate. So you're, if you bought one, you know what to expect. If you've never bought an Ultimate figure, it's kind of hard to qualify or quantif quantify what Super 7 is like. Think of an older action figure, but a little bit better. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what Super 7 is, to me, anyway. So his cape does go on, and these pieces do fall off or come out. I thought I broke it. See? See how they just came out like that? They do tend to fall out like that if you're not careful. Um, but they can go back in, so it's not broke or anything like that. And let's get that off. So you see the spike there. There's another spike over here. And there's a clip behind here is how this stays on. It's not really super secure, so be careful with that. Uh, but it is nice. Uh, let's look at some of uh, Mum Mumra's accessories. So we got uh, his dog. And it looks good. Let me pause this. I can see what the dog's name is. Okay, I don't see the dog's name on here on the box. The box does look fantastic. Uh, so, I was call it Mum Mutt. I think it was Mum Mutt. I really don't remember this dog at all uh, in Thundercats. But, don't really care. It's a nice accessory. Um, pretty big accessory, really. It's got articulated legs. Nice shading on there. It's shiny as all hell. Um, head can articulate. No up and down or anything like that, but it's nice. It's a nice little accessory for a Super 7 figure. It's also got some hands, more hands with the hinges. And I'm not sure who told me in one of my videos before when I said, I don't know why we have these hands and not fisted hands. They said because the hinges go a different direction. And none of these hands do that. So <laughs> never mind. But I guess maybe these hands are the ones that go up and down and they're not. So yeah, we got fisted hands at least. That's that. So fisted hands, graspy hands, and slightly larger open hands. Um, he also has this, and I do not remember what this is for. Um, I really don't. I did, because I have not watched Thundercats since I was a kid. Now, I did watch the 2011 series, which was really good. I hope we get those, because I like that series. I know a lot of people did not. That's why I got canceled. But... I thought the 2011 series of Thundercats was exceptional. I liked a lot of designs better, to be honest with you. And the backstory with his family, oh, that was great. Sad that it got canceled. So, hopefully we get something better in the future. Last accessory he comes with is an open head. And this is a head I'll be displaying because he looks like he's just yelling, MUMRA! Right? Pretty good, huh? Okay, so that's what I'm going to be displaying. Let's get this off and put it on. Now that's off, you can kind of see the wraps he's got, how the cape stays in at the back, 
it looks fantastic, guys. I, I really, really do dig this figure. It's just it heads above, you know, all the other Super 7 figures I have. And this one here, I mean, it makes me want to get Monk in. Probably not Slythe or whatever his name is, but definitely Monk in. And looking at that, oh, man, look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, I like that. I like that a lot. And that's it. That's all he comes with. That's that's um, Super 7's Mumra. Um, I dig it. I think it is definitely a good figure. If I had to rate it out of 10 compared to other Ultimates collection figures, it's going to get a 10 for me. If I had to rate it on a scale for just action figures in general, it's going to get a solid 9 for me. So definitely one of my favorite figures of the year. You should get it if you still can at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, until then, until next time, thanks for watching my reviews. And peace.